Hello, this is test number two, and we're going to be playing some Metal Gear Online, my favourite franchise. Okay, so, at the moment, this is me, Scout class, the first class I started with. I'll, gi I'll give a quick rundown, because I know some people, people I know anyway, are a bit confused about uh, like what's included on all these classes. You've got Scout class, which, as I said, well, oh, maybe not. It's basically your, your basic class, so movement speed and armor is average, and loadout wise, you get uh, basic assault rifles. That one's pretty good, the G44. I think you get that about um, the level that I'm at now 25, 24, something like that. Um, sniper rifles, uh, you can get a tranquilizer sniper rifle as well. Uh, you get various attachments scope, suppressor, muzzle brake, and flashlight. Secondary weapons, pistols, tranquilizer pistols, um, uh, accessories like just regular plushy snares, mines, decoys, and various grenades. Uh, cardboard box, I don't know what else is included in that area, but abilities, I've not unlocked all of them, but you get weapons, which is additional ammo, tactical, which is increased ammo for support weapons, uh, tactical 2, tactical 3. Lethal aim, which is increased accuracy with uh, weapons, so that's good for sniping. Sniper, as I said, better good for sniping, reduced recoil, uh, enhanced zoom, and marking all enemies with the scope. So yeah, th this is good. This is a good class for sniping and scouting and and intelligence as well. So faster enemy marking, increased enemy markers display duration. Uh, optics, so you get um, night vision goggles with this one, and only this one. I only found that out when I started my infiltrator class. Anti marking uh, is basically it's the same as um, what's it called? Um, well, intel, but it's uh, the opposite when it comes to you, so it makes en uh, enemies harder to detect you. So, yeah. Um, Sneaky Wolf, that's me, Infiltrator class, so you, you still get an assault rifle, you get shotguns as well on this one, I think this is the only one you can get shotguns, so you get a basic one, a uh, bullhorn, which is like a stun shotgun, they are really, really useful, uh, especially during um, the, um, what's it called, the Bounty Hunter one, uh, pistols, same as ever, you get a revolver in this one, uh, submachine guns, same grenades, except you can get a stun grenade and speed grenade sneak grenade, petrol bomb and C4 in these ones and a Fulton cannon as well which is where you place it on the ground and if an enemy comes near then it'll rocket them into the sky so it's always useful, cardboard box and oh yeah um, stealth camo I don't know why it's included in that one but uh, you get weapons for this one, tactical this one, lethal aim, non-lethal aim, same as ever. CQC stealth, this is really good, because that's good if you want to do close combat. So, fast CQC choke, uh, break out quicker, and can disarm enemies. So that's good if you want to do mostly close combat. Interrogation, so that's good for, like, like I said, close combat. Um, I I've not used these actually, I, need, I might make another class at some point. There goes my phone. <laughs> so, <laughs> it kind of uh, makes sense. Stealth camo. This is this is this gets spammed a hell of a lot during um, like other mi various missions, especially um, bounty hunter. Um, so you got basic stealth camo, increase uh, battery replenish rate, and this one's actually good for um, if if someone's got uh, night vision goggles. So that's always good. Fulton. That is really really good. You want to use Fulton. Uh, if you want to get loads and loads of points for this guy, because Fulton will get you a hell of a lot more points rather than just killing. This really pissed me off when I first started. I was like, why is everybody shooting? And then suddenly I went as uh, an enforcer class and I realised why they were shooting. And it is actually quite fun. So, <laughs> bit of a hypocrite on myself, but there we go. Fulton, uh, faster du uh, durability of Fulton balloons and faster deployment, so they last longer and you quicker uh, deploying them and this one's pretty funny actually uh, if you're running and you press the R2 you'll trigger Fulton Punch action so it's basically the Captain Falcon of this uh, class so you just run out and go Fulton Punch and they'll automatically get thrown into the air with a Fulton balloon so yeah that's that's my favorite class that's why I've got it up at level 36 and the others are just like 25 and 26 uh, this is uh, me Enforcer uh, 
So enforcers are the, the opposite of um, uh, infiltrators. Whereas infiltrators are quicker and we uh, weaker, these are s slower but stronger. So they've got all the big weapons like the assault rifles, the machine guns, grenade launchers, rocket launchers, uh, the shield. Uh, not as many um, pistols and um, submachine guns, but I suppose I've not unlocked all of them. Uh, probably the same for this one as well. So you get the same as always. Cardboard box, wep uh, weapons, lethal aim, non-lethal aim, demolition. So this is actually pretty useful for if you want to get a tanky build. Field report, that is really good as well. So um, where is it? Which is that, that one, level two, alert when enemies are close. So it'll send out like a pulse, like a sonar pulse when um, an enemy is near. Only you can see this. So if you see it going off, you know there's an enemy near. So it's always useful if someone's trying to sneak up behind you. Shields, um, they're good in a way, I suppose. Tank, um, that one's really good as well. I'm trying to find it. Which is the one that I really like? I'm trying to think. Uh, ex explosives, that's the one. Which one is it that I, that's... I'm trying to find it. Yeah, that's the one. Demolition level 2. Um, thrown or tossed weapon on... Thrown weapon tossed on death. Which means if an enemy's close to you and they kill you, you drop one of your thrown grenades, your thrown weapons, which in my case is a grenade, as long as you still have at least one, it'll drop on the ground and detonate. So if you played Overwatch and you played as Junkrat, it's pretty much the same thing, except he drops one grenade. So you give a surprise attack for any enemy that tries to teabag you. <laughs> but anyway, um, oh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to go as my infiltrator class. So if if um, whatever character you've chosen um, in this menu screen here, it'll, it'll always come up um, in the menu screen. See how it's changed straight away like that. So what we're going to do we're going to do a cloak and dagger, which is my personal favourite. Uh, if you don't know what all the games are, uh, Bounty Hunter is basically team deathmatch, except every time you get a kill, um, you, you, um, bounty goes up. You get like bounty one, bounty two. If you kill three enemies, you get a bounty of three. And if someone Fultons you, not only did they get a point for killing, but they... Um, I'll turn the sound off while I'm talking. Because I'm just halfway through the game. Uh, which round is it, sorry? Uh, round one. Oh, I'll just mute these guys. I can't. Oh, yes, I can. There. Oh, that's me. Um, mute everybody here, just in case. Right, um. What was I saying now? Oh, yeah, um. Not only do they gain a point if you fault on them, but um, the tick, the bounty that's on you gets added to the number of tickets that they have. So you've got to be tactical with the fault and recovery. So if, if you've managed to fault on someone, you could gain a big lead um, in the game. Right. Uh, this one is Cloak and Dagger, so it's basically um, just capture the disc and run back to the uh, but back to your computer terminals, which are the orange uh, icons on the screen there, and th those things there. So, the attacking team gets stealth camouflage, and they only use non-lethal weapons. So no bullets, no um, grenades that co uh, cause explosions to fire. You can use stun grenades uh, and um, e-locators, anything with non-lethal on it, anything with the blue symbol on it. Um, what else? And the attackers, they only use um, lethal weapons, so no stun weapons whatsoever, no e-locators, no stun grenades. So, it's basically just splitting the entire armory in half. One for the attackers, one for the defenders, and... As you can probably guess, defenders have to defend the disc. Whether you want to camp or go out and hunt them. It's entirely up to you. I, I always wonder why are the why the defenders running around trying to look for them, but... You can... You can I, put, I got the idea when, uh, when I went as an enforcer, and... Camping isn't exactly the best thing to do, especially when you don't have stealth camouflage. Which is probably why I like me um, infiltrator class because I'll show you something later once this game's over. Um, in one of my loadouts, like you all, you always get a stealth camouflage as an attacker in this game. So it's it's always guaranteed you get an unlimited stealth camouflage. It doesn't deplete, but every time you get hit, 
everybody else in the team's stealth camouflage drops as well, not just yours. But for this one, right, I've actually made a special class for this particular one. What I've done is, there's the CQC ability and there's the Fulton ability. That They are probably the perfect combo for this one because you automatically get stealth camouflage anyway. So you instantly use CQC to knock them out straight away rather than just throwing them onto the ground and then getting up and shooting you. So you'll instantly knock them out as soon as you uh, throw them to the ground. But with um, with what was it? Um, with Fulton as well, it increases durability of the balloons and faster deployment. So you'll be able to go straight in. Right here we go. I'll show you what it means. So we've got CQC Fulton here. So faster durability of balloons and faster CQC choke and stunning enemies. Right. So without further ado, I'll show you what I mean. I'll probably get killed straight away anyway, but you'll see what I mean. Probably have just enough time for one game anyway, so... I really should change the music anyway. Because this is not the appropriate music for this, uh, this one. Oh, don't want to... Right. Both hands on the controller. Just messing with the volume. Because I don't want feedback. Right. This is the tricky bit, because you've no idea where they're going to come from. You have no idea if they're going to be camping or if they're going to be um, running around looking for you. Alright, I guess someone else has got the disc already. It's always a good idea to keep close to them as well. Oh! Oh, he's... Well done. <laughs> well done there. In that case, uh, hmm. I want to get some points, so... So I'm actually going to sprint a little bit. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Ooh, he's dropped the disc. disc. Oh, oh, we've won. Oh, damn it. Oh, I wanted to get some points, but... Well... Maybe in another game. I'll probably do another um, test at some point. I'll just jump off. Alright, so how did they do, shall I say? Oh, that guy's trying to chase me. Ah, uh, uh, they won anyway. Is that guy trying to chase me? Where is he? Oh, he's there. Oh, he's saluting. Okay. Uh, probably don't have enough time for one more game, so... But at least you've got the idea now. I'm, I'm going to do another video at some point. Uh, hopefully we'll actually start a proper game. And I'll, I'll actually start it in-game as well. So, I'll... See you later then.